Yeah, I've had a couple of people ask how hard it is to anodize titanium turn buckles and things like that. I play around with uh, titanium and aluminum myself a bit, but uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, household chemicals, they deserve your respect. They're, they're, they go by big names. It's hydrofluoric acid. You can buy it in most uh, hardware stores. Ace has it under the brand name Wink. Uh, it's a diluted brand, but it still deserves your respect. Uh, caustic lye. This is uh, sodium hydroxide uh, drain cleaner. Uh, it's really good for de-smutting or taking off any oxide layers that are stuck on the uh, titanium when you're done with it. And then good old baking soda. Uh, here we're using baking soda for electrolyte. It's a conductive uh, water. Anyway, so this is a turnbuckle that I've been playing with. It's uh, kind of a blue color now. A uh, small beaker of uh, hydrofluoric acid. Again, be very careful of stuff. Wear gloves, wear eye protection. It's nasty stuff. But it uh, just takes a few minutes to strip off the the existing titanium uh, oxide, which gives it that nice blue color. You can see it's kind of about about native now. This is just plain water. And picture of that. See, it's pretty pretty nasty stuff burning off that titanium oxide. And it's the oxide layer that actually anodizes it. It uh, different thicknesses catch the light differently, give you different colors. Uh, what you're going to need is those chemicals into some sort of a power supply. And this is what it looks like in its raw state, the raw titanium. Um, this little cheap power supply you can get on Amazon, they're about 100 bucks or 80 bucks. And the voltage you set it at will determine what color you get. So at 21, say 22 volts, that's what I like to start off with. Get your first cool color. Doesn't have to be real precise, but just got to remember where you were. But if you put this in at 22 volts, get quite a bit of bubbling, and in just a few seconds you get a nice dark purple. You can see that or not. Okay, if you want to go to a different color, you can increase the voltage. Let's take it up to 32 or so. And dip it again. You can see the blue really starts to come up from a purple. And the higher you go, the better the color you get. Take it up to about 40 volts, and you should get a nice, uh, kind of a light blue, greenish light blue, kind of a cool color. Kind of aquamarine. Take it up to 50-ish, and you start getting more of the yellows and golds. And it's got some green to it. And again, the longer you leave it in there, it'll burn off all the uh, the blue wavelength below it and leave you with a nice bright amber gold. Okay, that's uh, 52 volts. There's 65. You get this higher voltage, you really start getting some nice, uh, nicer colors, it's kind of a gold, bronze color. Probably could have stopped at about 60 to get hit that nice gold. And you take it up to in the 80 volt range, you start getting pinks, bright pinks and purples. Take it up to 90 ish, 92. Should get a real deep dark blue. That's probably my favorite, I guess. 92 volts. But anyway, so as you can see, it's pretty simple. Uh, it does take a little bit of respect for the chemicals, but. And if you put this back in the hydrofluoric acid, rinse off a couple of these layers. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you may get back down to the kind of the raw state. You can kind of see it going away there. There's back to raw titanium. And just as quick, if I want to go back to that deep purple blue we had a minute ago, dip it back in there, let it sit for half a second, get the color I want. It's probably pretty close. Like that. And got that nice blue purple. Anyways, it's real cool, real easy. Uh, a couple things you have to be care of, careful with. Um, household chemicals, but they're pre pretty nasty. Hydrofluoric acid will burn your skin. Uh, this is the opposite. This is caustic lye. Sodium hydroxide, burn your skin. Uh, baking soda, keep this handy because if you get this other on you, this will neutralize it. And a power supply. 
Uh, it's a DC power supply, but it's still no joke. It's 92 volts. Uh, you get hit between these reds and the blacks, you'll you'll know it. Uh, that is a conductive uh, liquid, 90 volts, acids. What could go wrong, right? Anyways, it's not hard to do. Just be careful. Use your eye protection. Use your gloves. Uh, that's all, folks.